Hello students, uh, welcome to LGIT online coaching classes. Today we discuss about the power series solution of ordinary differential equation. Let's start with an example. Find power series solution of 1 plus x square y double dash plus xy dash minus 9y is equal to 0. Okay. For the solution, we have given the differential equation 1 plus x square y double dash plus xy dash minus 9y equal to 0. First, we have to convert the our given differential equation in the standard form. For that, we divide the differential equation with the multiple of y double dash that is 1 plus x square. So, we get y double dash plus x upon 1 plus x square y dash minus 9 upon 1 plus x square y is equal to 0. Now, the multiple of y dash that is x upon 1 plus x square is px and multiple of y minus 9 upon 1 plus x square is qx. From this equation, we can see that our px and qx both are differentiable at x is x0 is equal to 0. So, we can say that x0 equal to 0 is an ordinary point. Okay. So, let's start y with the solution of the given differential equation. Let y be the solution of equation 1. Right? So, y equal to summation n 0 to infinity a n x to the power n. If we put n equal to 0, we get first term that is a0. After putting n equal to 1, we have a1x. Putting n equal to 2, a2x square up to so on. Differentiation of y with respect to x, we get y dash summation n 1 to infinity n an x to the power n minus 1. Here a n is constant and the differentiation of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1. The derivative of a constant term is 0. Therefore, we start uh, the y dash with n is equal to 1. Now, the second derivative of y is n 2 to infinity n minus 1 and a n x to the power n minus 2. Students, we have, uh, we substitute the value of y, y dash and y double dash in the given equation. Substitute the values y, y dash and y double dash in equation 1. We get 1 plus x square the value of y double dash is n equal to 2 to infinity n minus 1 and a n x to the power n minus 2. Now plus x into the value of y dash and running from 1 to infinity n a n x to the power n minus 1 minus 9 the value of y is summation n 0 to infinity a n x to the power n is equal to 0. Okay. So, after splitting the bracket, we get next step 1 into the uh, value of y double dash is summation n 2 to infinity n minus 1 n a n x to the power n minus 2 plus x square into the value of y double dash. That's why x square sigma 
n running from 2 to infinity, n minus 1, n a n x to the power n minus 2. Okay, there will be no change in the remaining term that is x n running from 1 to infinity n a n x to the power n minus 1 minus 9 summation n 0 to infinity a n x to the power n is equal to 0. So, we have four term now in the difference in the equation. Okay. So, students, uh, first we merge all the power of x. So, for merging, we keep the first term as it is, but in the second term, the power of x, first term as it is, in the second term, the power of x will be merged and it gives summation n 2 to infinity n minus 1 n a n and the power of x is n minus 2 plus 2 that is x raised to n in the next term x running from n running from 1 to infinity and a n the power of x is n minus 1 plus 1 that is x raised to n and the last term there will be no change so minus 9 0 to infinity a n x to the power n is equal to 0. Students, here we have total 4 terms and in all terms the power of x must be same. In second term power of x is n, in the third term power of x is n and in the fourth term power of x is again n. But in first term power of x is n minus 2. Okay, so for uh, we uh, convert the power of x uh, n minus 2 into the power of x raised to n. In first term, we replace n by n plus 2 in first term. Okay. So, after replacing n by n plus 2 in first term, we get summation if we replace n by n plus 2 so our starting point n is 0 to infinity after replacing n by n plus 2 we get n plus 1 n replaced by n plus 2 a n replaced by a n plus 2 and the power of x is n because we replace n by n plus 2 so n plus 2 minus 2 with the n plus Summation n 2 to infinity n minus 1 and a n x to the power n. The remaining all terms there will be no change. So, last term will be term like summation n 0 to infinity a n x to the power n is equal to 0. So, students now. All power in all terms power of x are same but the initial values are different. In the first term initial value is 0. In the second term initial value is 2. In the third term initial value is 1 and in the last term initial value is 0. So we have to convert the all initial value is equal to we have to convert all initial value is equal to 2. For that, we replace, uh, we put n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 in the first term. So, after putting n equal to 0 in the first term, we get 2 a2. After putting n is equal to 1 in the first term, we get 2 into 3 a3x represent the remaining term in the form of summation that is sigma n 2 to infinity n plus 1 n plus 2 a n plus 2 x to the power n. In this second term 
your initial value is 2. So keep as it is. There will be no change in the second term. So summation n running from 2 to infinity n minus 1 and a n x to the power n plus the third term you have to put n is equal to 1 so you get a1x the remaining term represent in the form of sigma that is n 2 to infinity a2 n a n n a n x to the power n okay now in last term you have to convert your initial value from 0 to 2 that's why first you put n is equal to 0 so you get minus 9 a 0 after putting n is equal to 1 you will get minus 9 a 1 x and the remaining terms will be same and represent from the n to 2 infinity a n x to the power n. Okay. So, students, now rearrange your equation in light terms. So, you have the constant term. Total const there are two total constant term that is minus two a two and minus nine a zero. Okay, this equation you have total two constant term two a two and minus nine a zero. In this equation you have multiple of x. There are three terms of multiple of x that is 6a3x, a1x and minus 9a1x and all the remaining terms are in the form of summation. So if we arrange uh, the equation as a like otherwise terms, we represent 2a2 minus 9a0. These are the constant term. If we get x common, we have 6 a3 plus a1 minus 9 a1 x is common and the remaining term, if we get sigma summation n to, to infinity x is to n common, we have in the bracket n plus 1 n plus 2, a n plus 2, plus n minus 1, n, a n, and the next term is n a n minus 9 a n is equal to 0. Okay. So, after comparing both sides, after comparing both sides, if we compare both sides, if we compare constant on both sides, a multiple of x both sides, and the multiple of x plus 2 and both sides, we get the values of a n. Okay, so compare constant term both sides. So your left side constant term is 2a2 minus 9a0 and your right side constant term is 0 that's why you have a2 is equal to 9 by 2a0 compare multiple of x both side so your multiple of x from left side is 6 a3 plus a1 minus 9 a1 is equal to 0 that is 6 a3 minus 8 a1 is equal to 0 therefore your a3 is 4 by 3 a1 okay so we have two values a2 is 9 by 2 a0 and a3 is 4 by 3 a1. 
Okay. Now, comparing the multiple of x raised to n both sides. Compare multiple of x raised to n both sides. So, multiple of x raised to n is n plus 1, n plus 2, a n plus 2, plus n minus 1, n a n plus n a n minus 9 a n is equal to 0, where your n starting from n is equal to 2. That's why we have to write n greater than greater than or equal to 2. Okay. So, after simplifying this, n plus 1, n plus 2, a n plus 2, if we split the bracket, we get n square a n minus n a n plus n a n minus 9 a n is equal to 0, where n greater than or equal to 2. We are minus 9 a n a n and plus n a n will be cut. So, the remaining term is n plus 1, n plus 2, a n plus 2 plus n square minus 9 a n is equal to 0 where n greater than or equal to 2. If we represent a n plus 2 as a subject, so minus n square minus 9 a n upon n plus 1 n plus 2 where n is greater than or equal to 2. Okay. So, if we take n is equal to 2 so a 4 is equal to minus minus 5 a2 divided by 3 into 4 but the value of a2 is we have the value of a2 is 9 by 2 a0 okay so put the value uh, value of a2 is 9 by 2 Substitute the value of a2 that is 9 by 2 a0. Therefore, 5, 3 into 4. Here, value of a2 is 9 by 2 a0. So, 3, 3 is a 9. So, we have 15 by 8 a0. So, your a4 is nothing but 15 by 8 a0. Right? Now, if we put n is equal to 3, then uh, 3 square of 3 is 9 so we get a5 is equal to 0 okay and so on and so on students now put the all the values of a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 in the equation uh, y running from uh, summation uh, 0 to infinity a n x raised to n so substitute All values in equation y running from 0 to infinity a n x raised to n that is nothing but a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube up to so on. So a0 keep it same. Again, even there will be no change for a2. We have the value a2 is 9 by 2 a0 x square. For a3, we have the value is for a3, we have 4 by 3 a1. So, 4 by 3 a1 x cube. For a4 is 15 by 8 a0 x raised to 4 up to so on. Okay. 
Students, if we get a zero common, we have one plus nine by two x square plus 15 by 8 x raised to 4 up to so on and after getting a1 common we have x plus 4 by 3 a1 x2 up to so on. Dear students this is the power series solution of the given differential equation. One the given differential equation 1 plus One plus x square y double dash plus x y dash minus 9 y is equal to 0. Thank you so much. Welcome.